was a dream that was real. It shall be realized. These are the wishes of Marcus Aurelius. There are reinforcements just spawning. For well, now, I need to look through the policies that are gonna make me better, right? <laughs> They are treating now. Maybe? Yeah, they are. Back into the woods, man. That was easy. I was thinking we were gonna have to like go to war. To actually get the ruler change. Load of prisoners, man. The bad we can't. Uh, there's not much we can do with them. Okay, now the number. I think we can. Yeah, we're gonna be able to save that. Because they're actually besieging. Oh, fuck's sakes. Save that and go back to save that again. like switch these around all the time Please camp that hill so we have a clear shot on you. Move! 
fix. Yeah, face. I think you need to like tell them to face the other direction, or otherwise they're gonna look towards the back. Now we're gonna have to move forward. Let's move our cavalry to their backs. I don't think any of the faction leaders for in the Imperium actually uses the laurels on them. You only got the helmet on. Shop like that, goddammit. Maybe I do need to like pick up a two-handed weapon or a portal arm so I can actually kill off the infantry easily. When on horseback. Well that's my guy, never mind. Troops we can actually pick up. Nice. Good ones too. No, sadly we can't hold any more prisoners. Yeah, we need to go back to save that. 
I think I'm just gonna eat a uh, relationship. Uh... Oh, fuck six. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go eat the relationship uh, minuses from getting peace with all of these. And can we sign an aggression pact? Oh, right, we already have one. Okay, we're we're gonna have to knock out the we're not balanced offensive. We're gonna knock out the Western Empire, then the Southern Empire real quick. They don't have much left. Either one of those. Especially the Southern Empire. You have to just sweep in through here and take them out. And the Western Empire doesn't have doesn't hold much either. Very cool. Yeah, they don't have any more they, they don't have more they don't have towns at all. Let me go play this battle and I'm gonna end the stream there. But that enough for today? Yay! Reunite, reunite the Empire under a republic, right? Not a dictate, dictatorship. <laughs> Definitely. You don't need charm that much. Increase pole arms. Oh, did who die? Oh, the leader didn't die. Uh, the. What's it called? The abdication worked out. Yeah, we are married. A clan. Uh, she was the. Daughter of the of the previous uh, king or leader, emperor, whatever you want to call it. She was pretty freaking cheap too. It's so cheap to get a wife in this game. Even Nathaniel has the wife. That's her, his wife. Is there still a clan, a clan in the kingdom? I think it is. this one right Wait a minute. Lu Lucon Lu was it Lucon Wait a minute I can just check that like this uh, click on her or no he actually died Never mind, I wasn't paying attention. It died of the age of 68. I like how he's, you know, still moving here. That's pretty easy. Their clan is still in the in the kingdom though. Let's fight. Actually, we can't catch up to them, can we? Let's like let him go. He's gonna catch him for us. I'm gonna fight this, and then I'm gonna look through the policies real quick, see what we can change. That's gonna be good. Oh, it's the oh oh I do like this map. Never mind, I don't like this map. They're gonna camp the hill here. Oh, 
it's probably gonna take me like one or maybe two streams to like finish up the empire and reclaim everything then i'll see what we're gonna do might just, i might just end it there to be honest wait a minute what would happen if i left the faction now But yeah, stay up there so you have a clear shot on you. I'm never gonna hit any of these. Oh, their enforcement is gonna spawn down there. Nice. <laughs> Fuck sakes. The slow mo is nice, but it's fucking annoying sometimes, really. I know you can turn it off. I do need to keep my shield up there. The fuck's the AI doing? Just attack him. Look at that, they're like... like they can't hit one guy. Is that like, is that it? Okay, there we go. Okay. Be light. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna let whoever they're at war at with over there take those. Vim today. One, two, three, four. So there's seven castles, and that's it, more or less. Right, let's look at the policies. We don't need this. There's one that like gives us more party capacity. Yeah, this one.
was I think there's one more that increases our party capacity. Those are the ones I really need. Well, only need. The rest we can do without. How do you exactly like hire mercenaries? Or like let them go? Can we? Can we? Uh, like, can I change the faction color now? And all that shit. Yes, we can. Nice. Wait, no. Brown, black, and yellow. Oh, yes, we can. Let's make it white. No yellow is the is the OG color, right? Why the hell doesn't that look black? Or actually, no, no, no. I know what we should, what we need to do. Um. Ah oh shit. Uh. There is no purple, is there? I guess let's go with black then. We are gonna change the color to, well, maybe. Once we take out the Western Empire, I'm gonna change the color to red. I'll see if I can uh, actually get the, you know, the mod that makes it uh, makes it so you can uh, like change the banner and all that stuff and add more colors in. I can. Yeah, I'll see if I can make that work with us. Yeah, we can change to to red immediately. Make that a little bit smaller. reason that doesn't look red to me I think I'm gonna add the mod in that uh, makes so we can you know have more choices when it comes color or let's let's make it orange I do want to make it, uh, see, I'll see if I can make it purple, like uh, SPQR in uh, uh, what's it, wait, it's uh, Rome Total War. Let's see, is there anything else we can change? Oh, right, I do want to, wait a minute. Alright, we need to do it like this. Brother, send message. 
Even though he's in the party. Wait, what? All right. You can't do that if he's in the party. Wait a minute. Can I not give him a, a five? I think you can give him fives to companions, right? Oh yeah, so we can, right? Good. Okay, so the next few castles we take, I'm gonna give them, give give them to them, to the companions. Like we're gonna give them these. So we have five companions that actually have parties. So we're gonna give them these, these here. Probably, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so guys. Sub on YouTube, follow on Twitch, D Live and Trouble. Hop on the Gilded server if you need any information and want to contact me. And thank you for watching. Yeah, good morning, good day, good evening, good night. And see ya. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stream tomorrow. We'll see, maybe. Let's disband this army real quick. Look at that party capacity. Alright, so last time we became the faction leader. Yup, even our flag has changed. Now it's gonna be now it's gonna be pretty easy to like finish off the empires because we can enforce peace and war. It should be good. I do wanna however to like uh, form an alliance with uh let's see. If I'm gonna take out the like modded nations uh, might be the best idea to like form an alliance with uh, Sturgeons up there because they are not modded and the Azerai So if you like form an alliance with them and knock out the Scythians, Dacians and Batanians Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do Most likely We'll see we're at four with ten, and the plan is to give the companions uh, the party, the ones that have a party, uh, give them land. I'm not exactly sure what's that gonna do. It's not like gonna make them into lords, and I can make five more parties. If so, that's gonna be a bit OP. Just a bit. Well, let's. Uh go around recruiting some troops and dump the prisoners let our guys recruit some troops as well then we're gonna go and knock out the western empire easy peasy Here we have a ton of food that's not not gonna be an issue i think we need to sell though really all these and there's no point in having them ok 
skill, skill around recruiting a little bit. Since when we do start going to uh, cleaning this up, it's, I'm gonna do it in one fell swoop. Wait a minute, are they at war with someone else as well? Not really. Wait a minute. There is war with everyone. What? I'm not sure. I don't, maybe the game bugged out with the mods. Maybe I should just go to one of my garrisons and pick up the units. That's gonna be easy. Easier than just recruiting them all right. But they're not higher level like some of these. Plus I do want to give, us, give some time to my guys to actually go and recruit troops. Let's tag him. Actually, it might, uh, might be a good idea to like check the garrisons, see if uh, any like higher tier units were dumped in by some other lords, and apparently they did not. This one, this guy is attacked. I don't think I, and there's no way I'm gonna get there in time to save his ass. Well, let's try get that way so at least we can, uh, no, he's not in a battle apparently. We could rescue him. If he gets caught. Okay, I, uh, yeah, let's go up here and uh, clear out this area from their, from their armies. And we do need one of these so we can actually increase the cohesion. Let's go take out these settlements. And we're gonna see what happens when I actually give one more companion. Oh, never mind. We're gonna go save this. Really? Really? sure a warm-up is in order Okay. 
Perfect. Hold fire. Apparently they have some skimshuk out. Not anymore. Footmen, bowmen, cavalry, four horsemen, move, or cavalry riders, move, yeah. She got the kill. Now, now our guys are going to be black, so we can actually see them. Archers, move! Archer, forward! Move! Infantry! Move! Infantry! Forward! Infantry! Archers! Move! Okay, there we go. Getting some kills. Why some of them ain't shooting, I have no freaking clue. But they don't have a shot because there's a tree in the way, in the way. Okay, actually, I can't see which or which because my archer uh, shields are still fucking annoying. They got the red stuff on them. Care forces that is. All right, they got reinforcements spawning again.
definitely 14 deaths on our side as well. Now, I do wonder if like, like I tell my guys to be on a defensive on this war. Are they gonna like actually defend these? Or am I gonna like have to come and save the cities? You know what? I'm gonna tell them to like be in the defensive war. So I'm gonna do all the attacking. Yeah, take a defensive war for the AI. You know, I'm gonna deal with the rest. Can someone catch him? Dude, now they fucked up. Never mind. Come on, come on. There you go. I'm actually just out of, gonna auto resolve this one. Well, it seems like this game just becomes so easy after a while. As if you're playing like Total War or something like that. Okay, now let's go siege these down. That defensive war and he's going to besiege something. He's going to besiege one of these cities as well. It's gonna take us a while to get there. I'm not exactly sure how the mercenary contracts work. Or how do you hire mercenaries as a faction leader? Right, we got troops to level up. Only 39 guys in there. Higher tier though, but I'm just gonna auto resolve this one, there's no point. What's up, Brian? Let's give this to the. Oh right, this one is not uh, an actual. All oh, right, now let's see. Uh, how do I? Yeah, bit the Delo bitkus the loyal. I mean, why can't I talk with them? Talk to party leader. Mm, why do we have enough lords? When he came, five hundred influence. Yes. That's how you spell biscuit. <laughs> I do want to check now. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's... I got the... Uh, I got the death turned off, so... That's not gonna be an issue. I think I do. And plus, I left my wife in the... One of my uh, one of my cities to actually govern it. So yeah, I have clan member death possibility turned off. Plus, like we're only three hundred days in or four hundred days in game, we're pretty young still. I have I literally have no clue how to check that out. Right this way. Yeah, we're still twenty eight. So that should be fine. Okay, now did that open uh open up oh yeah it did oh <laughs> well, that's gonna be too op we literally just uh you know land all our party extra parties we made then just uh no not this then just uh create five new ones and we're gonna have like 2k troops each time with the faction. Uh, well, I guess if they're not your extra parties, then you're gonna need to pay for them, right? That's the only downside. Look at that, we can actually dump prisoners. Amazing. I mean, I got this shit in the bag. This is gonna be fucking easy. Unless I go to war with everyone. Okay, where the fuck are the armies now? How about you turn around and save the castle there? Well, fuck it, I'm gonna turn around and save it anyway. Actually surprised at how much, how they, like they got no, they got no garrison in, in here. I mean, I get that they just grabbed it, but still. Okay, let's take all those. The problem with it, like not fighting the battles, we're not actually gonna get the um, am I taking off uh, the single service? So I'm gonna have to fight some battles at some point. Okay, let's talk to okay, we gave him land. Centaur. Okay, let's give this guy some land. Ugh. Wait a minute. It's this one, right? Chance make the this clan name. Uh keep you. Let's go with that. Let's get some troops in there. Before more of them are desert. Okay, now. Yeah, these are not enough to siege it down. Okay, these... Ooh, look at that. These guys actually turned around to save that. Nice. Okay, let's... Uh, I'm gonna hope to, hope the Britannians declare war on them and they take this back. I want to 
deal with that right about now because they're probably gonna like have a reason to declare war on us. I do not want to go this way. Let's go this way. This, this is OP if you have the Distinguished Service mod. It's going uh, well, even, even if you have the... Like... Uh, uh, um, earlier version of it where you can like select... That many... Traits. You can still get a shitload of guys for your... Uh, additional parties. Makes the game too easy, I guess, at this point. Why is that tagged? Never mind. We're not taking those. You know what? Maybe I should just leave it on the offensive wall. Offensive war. See how much stuff they take. Maybe for once in our, if I'm in our lifetime, the AI does something useful. You are going to defend that, okay? That army just disbanded. Oh, they might lose it. I can't take... I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Ooh, maybe? Maybe? There we go. Let's get some more food just in case. I'm not really gonna stop until we capture all of their land. I actually need to go down here first. I like the fact that we're just losing troops because our guys are just dumping dumping them into these settlements we come across. Well, how about you don't do that? And we're on a war path. This one's low tier. We should be able to outbuild, outbuild it fast enough. Yeah, almost. Best Bannerlord mods. Well, this is one of them. This is, I think, the one that's most fleshed out. There's the Game of Thrones one. Old Realms mod, which is a Warhammer mod that, that added magic. Colorado Awakens, which this is a, like a spin-off of it, like a sub-mod of it. The only problem with the uh, Colorado Awakens, it does it isn't actually like being um, updated anymore. It's like version 1.5 point something. There's a World of Warcraft mod, but it's still early, like the Warhammer mod. They're still pretty early. Mm, there's Sergia is Norse, which is decent. Okay. Uh, we still need to like wait around till the, the mods get fleshed out, you know, and like built out. It's still gonna take like a, a half a year or a year for that. Because if you like go on to ModDB and you look at the mods being made, there's a bunch of pretty good ones over there. 
Declare war on the Southern Imperium. How about no? Fuck you all. Yeah, there is uh, the uh, I think they added orcs into the Warcraft mod now. I think the they are they have orc models in there. Orcs and humans. I'm not sure about the elves. I don't think the old realms mod has been updated yet. Let's check it out. Since the last time I played it, they only added vampires and the empire in it. Old realms. Then I guess um, the Lord of the Rings mods are gonna have orcs, but they're not out yet. Sadly. There might be like a playable version or something if you go onto their uh, Discord servers. They might find something. Yeah, this is the Old Realms mod. You want to follow that if you want some orcs. The what was the next mods? Ben Lord. Brian, we don't really need that much manpower. Games become piss easy as is. And I can, because uh, I got the Distinguished Service mod, we can just, uh, you know, recruit the troops into companions and make them uh, additional parties and get the manpower that way. Much easier. What do you... There should be a way to like filter out the mods so you can make them uh, like overhaul based. Freelancer, no. There's one called the, the dwarf somethings. Something. The like return of. Rib Return of the Dwarves or something like that. Did that one add the orcs, I think, to the game as well? Nah, I can't really find it. Look, look at the look at the manpower. We got 15k, man. Versus. Like, even if you fought multiple factions, I could deal with it easily enough. But that's not going to be an issue. Yeah, let me just change out to weapons. I mean, if I come across any that's not an army, I'm going to... Well, they're just going to run away. I guess I can try and talk to some of them. Get them to switch sides. Yeah. I don't like this one. Oh, well, hi. I'm going to read this. D. Sertse, which means heart in Serbian. Infantry. Wait a minute. Where the fucking... Oh. I guess the 